Hello everyone. Welcome to part 5 of LLM Jargons Explained. In the previous video we have discussed about how a KV cache works and where it is being used and what are the major challenges in the KV cache. So in this video let's discuss about page attention or it's also called as VLLM uh, is a solution for the challenges which we faced in the KV cache. So let's start with what it does. Of course, I think it. Uh, I think we have the ninety-six percent utilization, fragmentation, non-continuous memory. Basically, what are the cons or what are the challenges we have faced in the KV cache? All of the challenges, if not all, I think let's say the most of the challenges we could able to overcome, and that is when that's what I've been noting down here. So previously in the KV cache, we used to get only nine forty percent of the memory utilization, but used page attention. We could able to go 96% utilization. We'll also discuss why not 100% utilization down the line. And uh, comparatively, there is no fragmentation when we use page addition. Again, I'm saying comparatively. There is some sort of fragmentation which we'll also discuss in this video. And uh, one of the constant in the KV cache was memory needs to be continuous, but here memory need not be continuous here. So these are all the major things page attention does. Let's see how it does. So generally, uh, in computer science or generally in outside, I think whenever we face a problem, I think I heard that when I was preparing for gate exam long back, we usually look into the earlier method how people have solved it. Most likely, we are not the first people to face the problem. For example, when I, I don't know whether it is uh, uh, on paper or where it is. For example, in IP addresses, I'll just deviate for one minute. So for IP addresses, we all know that you know there are two parts for an IP addresses. One is for the network ID, and second is part of you know host ID, right? So now when people uh, were searching for how to divide this network ID and host ID, they went back and they figured out that how a postal code of a city is rely on. That means if you see big big cities, they usually have the telephone pin number or even I think uh, need not be a pin code. I think it's a telephone pin number. Usually, it is small. For Bengaluru, it is zero eight zero. But as and when you go through a villagers, the pin code, right? I think it won't be three, but it will be like four or five. It will be definitely more than three. And using that, they could able to figure out a solution for the IP address allocation problem. So coming back to here. We also know how a operating system works, and what are the KV cache challenges? We could able to map up, map it back to our operating system. Now, KV cache is nothing. Of course, it's a part of memory. And what are the challenges we have faced? That is nothing but the management of the memory. Now, if you remember few of the concepts of operating system, we have something called pages. We have something called uh, blocks. We have some page tables. Process processors and a, a lot of uh, stuff, right? So the folks on the page attention who have worked on it, they have exactly done the same thing. They went back to the basics of how our operating system works and they applied the concepts for this KV uh, problem of the KV cache, and that's what we have VLLM. So now we have this KV cache which we expect it to be continuous, right? Let's take an example of 4096 for the uh, for the time being. So what page attention does is why 4096. Let's split this into something called blocks. Let's call it as KV blocks. Let's say we split it into block of four. That means four, come four, come four till we have total number of uh, equal to 4096, right? So now uh, I think I don't know. I think four. I'm just let's calculate it. Four zero nine six by four. That is 1024. So this many number of blocks would be there instead of having one continuous block having four thousand ninety six, and of course once we have the block, we need to have something you know to what you say to link between all of those because these are all called the virtual blocks and we need to map it to a physical block and that's where a concept of block table similar to a concept of page table in the operating system kicks in. So now uh, let's take some example or an example to look into details of how Wix works. I think page attention. I think they have one beautiful video. I think it's 30 minutes video. I will also put this in the description section. They have explained it in very in details too. 
So now um, in this one, I think let's say we get a request because that's what we call it in the operating system, right? Uh, I don't know, I think in the LLM we call it as a request, but in our operating system, we call it as a process. So request is equal to process. So now let's say this is a prompt four score and seven years ago hours. So now in this example, we have, and let's say, I think these are the outputs as well, fathers and broad. Um, so now in our case, the window size, not the sliding window size I was talking about, but the page attention window or block size is four. That means four score and seven, it will be in one block. Just uh, they ignore the right hand side. We'll explain each and every uh, uh, concepts here. And after seven, I think we have years ago hour that is go to the second that is a years ago and hour. Now output, which is generated from our LLM fathers and bot and we have the fathers here which is on the second block and we cannot fit the rot here that's why one more request was going to a manager memory manager and it will allocate a block uh, here and that will be only first word will be fill word slash token that will be filled here and left of the three left blank so that as and when the llm generate new tokens it has a space to fill this up so now on the right hand side, just like how we have a page table in the operating system, now we have this block zero. It has been mapped to block seven because it, it need not be continuous, right? But in our cases of KV cache, we want to be continuous. But if this is a memory we had it in our system using KV cache, I think we couldn't able to implement this. So now block seven, we have it in the physical. Now block seven, this is what the table, hey man, this is a linked list you can consider it as. I think block zero has been mapped to seven. And similarly, block one, it is as mapped to block one in both uh, logical and uh, physical. And also in the block two, we have the block three and that's what the mapping is. Along with that, if you see, there are some numbers which has written here, that is like hash, but is number of field. In this case, we know that there are four slots, right? Out of four, all four are spilled, uh, or uh, it has filled. And here, initially, out of four, only three were filled. And right now, only one is filled. That is, three is blank. This information is much, much important for the LLM so that whenever it reaches the end of the block or whenever it, the block is full, it can request for one more block and it can proceed with the computational. So now here, if you can see here, I think block three, it has mentioned as uh, I think, uh, I think which one is this three blank and one is filled. And from the previous one, which is block one, three it used to be filled. Now it has, it has updated to four because fathers which has computed from the LLM, it has filled it here. That's it. And uh, page attention also a very good paper. They have explained it a lot of stuff. I think how if you are having a batch, how it will work and other thing. But moreover, the idea is whatever it have, we have discussed uh, so far. So that's it on the page attention. In the next video, we will discuss about, of course, the famous RLHF and how it works. And also we'll discuss about what are the alternatives we have for RLHF in the recent days like DPO, etc. So that's it. So thank you so much for watching this video.